The crypto market is no longer fun, some will say, but certain predictions are ticking over and gracing the moment. Bitcoin remains the largest cryptocurrency by market cap, and so far it has not been moving on impressive grounds. But investors are still optimistic. Optimistic to the extent of selling everything to Bitcoin. It is outrageous, isn't it? When we're talking about someone who vehemently sees good in Bitcoin and uses every opportunity to talk about its long-term potential, it would be the author of the best-selling book Rich Dad Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki. He has spent the past few decades imparting his wisdom about money and investments. Two particular areas of investment that Kiyosaki has consistently advocated for are gold and Bitcoin. Kiyosaki views gold as a hedge against economic uncertainties, and he frequently refers to it as God's money, because it's an asset that has been universally accepted for thousands of years. From his perspective, in a world where economic conditions are unpredictable and the value of fiat currencies can fluctuate significantly, gold serves as an enduring symbol of wealth. Moving from the traditional to the contemporary, Kiyosaki is also a staunch advocate for Bitcoin, the world's first and most popular cryptocurrency, which he often refers to Bitcoin as the people's money. In many ways, Bitcoin echoes the qualities that Kiyosaki adores in gold. Like gold, Bitcoin has a limited supply, and that implies that there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins. This scarcity is one of the factors that underpin its value. In addition, the decentralized nature of Bitcoin makes it resistant to manipulation by governments and central banks, a quality that Kiyosaki greatly appreciates. However, just as we know, Bitcoin is not without its controversies and risk. Its price is highly volatile and has been criticized for facilitating illegal activities due to its anonymity. Regardless of these concerns, Kiyosaki remains a strong proponent of Bitcoin. He sees the volatility not as a flaw, but as an opportunity for savvy investors to buy low and sell high. It seems so simple from his perspective. Also, Robert Kiyosaki views Bitcoin as more than just a digital asset. He sees it as a revolutionary technology that could disrupt traditional financial systems. Bitcoin's ability to enable fast, secure, and borderless payments is indeed a game changer, justifying why it cannot fall easily like a pack of cards. According to reports, Kiyosaki originally started to buy Bitcoin because he was unhappy about the Federal Reserve's quantitative easing and other measures. He is a big fan of gold and silver for similar reasons, as he sees them all as a hedge against inflation and recessions. But this narrative hasn't held for Bitcoin in recent months. Nonetheless, Kiyosaki acknowledged that the success of Bitcoin can be attributed to its decentralized nature, as it is driven by a people rather than by the Federal Reserve Board or the US government for support. In a tweet, Kiyosaki said he watched Bitcoin climb to $20,000 and then lost almost all of its value when it dropped to $4,000 several years ago. The author noted that he purchased more of the asset when it climbed back to $6,000. He said, Why I love Bitcoin. Years ago, I watched Bitcoin climb to 20 k and then drop off to zero. I thought Bitcoin was finished. Slowly watched Bitcoin climb to 6 k and I bought lots. Why? Because people supported Bitcoin and not Fed or government. Bitcoin did not need Fed or government bailout because Bitcoin is the people's money. Bitcoin to 100 k long live Bitcoin. Even as a strong advocate for financial education, Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of understanding the potential of Bitcoin and its role in the future of finance. It is worth noting that Kiyosaki believes Bitcoin is the only worthwhile investment within the cryptocurrency space. This opinion is not strange because he's a huge fan. Bitcoin is acknowledged as a commodity unlike most alternative coins which are considered as securities. Kiyosaki insists that once the United States regulars, such as the Security and Exchange Commission, classifies them as securities, the watchdogs will go hard on them. Well, we have been seeing it play out in recent months. Furthermore, the author sees Bitcoin trading at $100,000 soon. He predicted in February that by 2025, the leading cryptocurrency will be worth $500,000, while gold and silver would trade at $5,000 and $500 respectively. But then, as the huge opportunities for Bitcoin rolled in, his expectations soared. In a recent interview, Robert Kiyosaki predicted that the price of Bitcoin could reach $1 million, gold could reach $75,000, and silver could reach $60,000 if the global economy collapses. However, he noted that he believes a global economic collapse is not out of the question given the current economic conditions. Pointing to factors such as high inflation, a demographic slowdown, and the Federal Reserve's tightening monetary policy, he noted that as reasons to why the global economy could be headed for a crisis. If the global economy does collapse, Kiyosaki believes that people will flock to assets that they believe will hold their value, such as gold, silver, and of course Bitcoin. Of course, Kiyosaki's predictions have been met with mixed reactions. Some people believe that he is right and that the global economy is indeed headed for a collapse. Others believe that he is wrong and that Bitcoin is a bubble that is just about to burst. Only time will tell if Kiyosaki's predictions are correct 
However, his comments have certainly sparked a debate about the future of the global economy and the role of Bitcoin in it. What kind of role will it be, and is it worth going all in for it? In addition to the factors mentioned by Kiyosaki, other experts have also warned of the possibility of a global economic collapse. In a report, the World Bank said that the global economy is facing severe headwinds and that there is a heightened risk of stagflation. Despite the twists and turns that have bedeviled Bitcoin recently, it is one of those coins that deserves consideration in one's financial portfolio. The crypto market is indeed volatile, but things get pretty soothing if investors make the right investment options. The golden rule still stands. Don't invest money you can't afford to lose. So if you're investing everything in Bitcoin, does this mean that you can afford to lose everything? As bullish as Robert Kiyosaki is about Bitcoin, he won't cling to the narrative of investing everything. Bitcoin has awesome qualities that can sweep investors off their feet, but it's important to do proper research and avoid distractions such as FOMO. There was a time when Champagne Zhao, the CEO of Binance, reaffirmed Bitcoin's resilience in the face of the crypto winter, and the crypto skeptics attempted to bring it down. But he made it clear that cryptocurrency remains resilient despite past and present obstacles on its path to widespread adoption. CZ believes that Bitcoin has become stronger as a result of each of these challenges, and that the cryptocurrency's prolonged price fluctuation is evidence of its strength and durability. Despite these current challenges, CZ reiterated his belief that Bitcoin is alive and well. Despite the terror brought on by the capitulation event in the cryptocurrency sector last year, which had beaten the currency to deeper lows, Binance CEO Champagne Zhao declared in a tweet that Hashtag Bitcoin is not dead. We are still here. The fear, uncertainty, and doubt sparked by the recent Future Exchange, or FTX, collapse also coincided with CZ's comments. So CZ's tweets come at a time when many in the cryptocurrency were feeling discouraged by the recent string of bad news. The FTX collapse caused many to question whether or not Bitcoin is still a viable investment. And CZ's tweets served as a reminder that even though the market may be experiencing some turbulence, Bitcoin is still here and is still being embraced by major companies such as Binance. Then Michael Saylor, co-founder of MicroStrategy and Bitcoin Realist, had a positive response to Champagne's statement and stressed Bitcoin's importance in the movement to improve the world. Saylor went on and on, saying that Bitcoin is immortal and incorruptible. In his opinion, this is a solid foundation from which to build a more equitable society. Both Saylor and Zhao have emphasized Bitcoin's potential as a force for good in their speeches. Bitcoin has the potential to make the world a more open and libertarian place, due to its invulnerability to government censorship and its use as a haven for monetary value. Whether you know it or not, Bitcoin will play an increasingly significant role in fostering global growth as more people and organizations come to grasp its potential. Even Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, appeared on CNBC's Squawk Box to discuss the state of the cryptocurrency industry. While acknowledging that the sector has faced challenges in recent months, he remained optimistic about its future. The crypto market is not always sunshine and roses. Periodic downturns are not unusual, he said. Despite the current crisis, I believe that the industry will revive, he added. So, it is okay to invest in Bitcoin, and there's so much hope in the coming years, but it's only with the money that you can afford to lose. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you hit the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.